Hello YouTubers, welcome to VeloHarmony.com. What are the characteristics of a good bike fit? Today I'm going to be talking about what a good bike fit looks like. First of all, stability. When your bike fits you well, I'm going to be using Paul, my buddy on the left here. He's one of my clients as well. Um, he's uh, a good representation of what a bike fit should look like when it's done properly. If you observe, you should be stable. Of course, you should be comfortable. And as he comes into the picture here, I will show you the differences between the way he sits on his bike versus the other riders. Watch as he rolls in. The only movement you're going to see are his legs. Pulling up smoothly, upper body not moving, hips not moving. If you watch the rider in the white and the rider on, in the red in front of him, even though they're coasting, if you look at him on the left here, he looks more stable, more in tune with the machine. So you watch the other guys, there's a lot of motion that's not related to just the legs turning. And you watch him, he's fitted like a pro would be fitted. If he have, was wearing a pro kit, you'd think he was a, a member of a pro team. But that's how a fit should look. Smooth, one with the machine. You should have control at all times. You should be definitely comfortable. You watch here as they go around here. Watch the rider on the right and watch the rider on the left with a good fit. Uses his cadence to just go by. No big deal. There was no extra movement. Simply increase the cadence to get more speed. The rest of the body just stayed stable. That's what you're looking for when you get a proper fit economy of motion there should be no wasted motion you should be able to just will your legs to go and without trying to arch your back or get your hips and other things into that just pedaling so the muscles that you need for pedaling are recruited to keep the bike going forward so as you watch here, when they go around, there's a turn coming up. I want you to observe, as he goes around this turn, there is no shifting, there is no movement. I mean, once your fit is dialed in, you shouldn't have to move on the saddle to do other things. So you watch it. Basically, standing up is a no-brainer. You're taking the bike for a walk. You simply stand and just move your legs and the bike comes along and you sit in one motion if you watch when he sat there was no hesitation in his pedaling so as you observe you you should be able to move to the pack very easily you should be able to focus on other things other than how does my how does my bike feel so when your fit is right there's no aches and pains after the ride there's no aching in your neck your arms your elbows because if you're stretched out too much, you're going to have pain in your elbow. And if you watch him here as he rolls through the pack, even though he's on the hoods, his upper body is very arrow. I mean, that's not the most arrow. If he were, if he were on the drops, he'd probably be even more arrow. But if you watch him compared to the other riders, they sit higher. And I'll give you a good example. I think there's a good example here. There's a part of this film that shows what I'm talking about. Watch the rider come into the picture on the left. They're both on the hoods. Look how high he sits versus the rider on the right that has a great fit. So regardless of the differences in, in the body, when your bike is fitted to you, you should maximize your error potential. You look at the guy on the left, he's sitting up higher like a sail, catching more wind. That means more watts to go forward. Whereas the guy on the right, basically sits lower even though they're both on the hoods he sits lower so if he gets in a drop he'll be even lower and that's the thing you need to make sure that you're comfortable and you're stretched out and you're optimized in your position and that's a good example of what a great bike fit looks like all movement is basically based on your legs there's no wasted upper body motion whether you're standing or not it's just you should be smooth you know, and composed and relaxed. And as a result, you save a lot of energy. And in the long term, you're just a fresher rider. And you look forward to riding your bike every time. Because the bike fits you like a glove. 